Good afternoon. Uh, today's mass is being offered for the prayers of uh, uh, for married couples. So the vocation of marriage, uh, how appropriate that is, is considering that we're going to be celebrating tomorrow um, Mary and Joseph coming to uh, Bethlehem. Uh, how important that vocation is to a witness to our world. So with that in mind, let us say together the uh, communion antiphon. The O antiphon is O come, O come, Emmanuel, O Emmanuel. So together, a child shall be born for us, and he will be called God the Almighty. Every tribe of the earth shall be blessed in him. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess unto Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, as we see how the nativity of your Son, according to the flesh, draws near, we pray that to us, your unworthy servant's mercy may flow from your word who uh, chose to become flesh of the Virgin Mary and establish among us his dwelling, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Malachi. Thus says the Lord God, Lo, I am sending my messenger to prepare the way before me, Suddenly there will come to the temple the Lord whom you seek and the messenger of the covenant whom you desire. Yes, he is coming, says the Lord of hosts, but who will endure the day of his coming? And who can stand when he appears? For he is like the refiner's fire or like the fuller's lie. He will set a refining and purifying silver. He will purify the sons of Levi refining them like gold or like silver, that they may offer due sacrifice to the Lord. Then the sacrifice of Judah and Jerusalem will be, please the Lord as in the days of old, as the in years gone by. Lo, I will set you Elijah the prophet, I will send you Elijah the prophet before the day of the Lord comes, the great and terrible day to turn hearts from the fathers uh, to their children and the hearts of the children to their fathers, lest I come and strike the land with doom. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lift up your heads and see your redemption is near at hand. Lift up your hands and see your redemption is near at hand. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me, for you are God, my Savior. Lift up your heads and see your redemption is near at hand. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice. He teaches the humble his way. Lift up your heads and see your redemption is near at hand. All the paths of the Lord are kindness and constancy towards those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is with those who fear him and his covenant for those uh, for uh, his covenant for their instruction. Lift up your heads and see your redemption is near at hand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. O King of all nations and keystone of the church, come and save man whom you formed from the dust. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. When the time arrived for Elizabeth to have her ch uh, child, she gave birth to a son. Her neighbors and relatives heard that the Lord had shown his great mercy towards her. And they rejoiced with her. When they came on the eighth day to circumcise the child, they were go uh, going to call him Zechariah after his father. But his mother said in reply, no, he will be called John. But they answered her, there is no one among your relatives who, you, uh, who has this name. So they made signs asking his father what, his, what he wished him to be called. He asked for a tablet and wrote, John is his name. And all were amazed. Immediately his mouth was opened and his tongue freed and he spoke blessing God. Then fear came among all their neighbors and all these matters were discussed throughout the hill country of Judea. All heard these things took place. Uh, uh, all who heard these things took them to heart saying, what then will this child be? For surely the hand of the Lord was with him. The gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Well, what we take away from today's gospel as we are preparing, of course, for the birth of uh, Jesus uh, tomorrow is uh, how important it is to realize how Advent has, should have been affecting us. And we see this in the book of uh, Malachi today when he refers to uh, uh, us who have been preparing for Lent to be uh, uh, that like the refiner's fire or like the fuller's lie, or those who purify pure silver. And of course, to do that, it means it takes either a lot of heat or a lot of acid. In other words, we strip away all the dross from us, anything that is uh, not making us pure. And then hopefully we've come to that. We've, we've been making ourselves more and more pure, uh, putting ourselves in, in harm's way, if you like, with, with sacrifices, almsgiving, and and put, putting ourselves out there, making ourselves vulnerable and saying to God, God, it's not about me, but about my neighbor and about you. And now as we have prepared a, our Advent, now we were ready now to enter into the Christmas mystery. So let us pray that we, like uh, Zachariah, have been listening to the angel, maybe resisting God, but now realize that he is going to open us, uh, open to us a lot of grace, a grace during this uh, 2021 uh, uh, year of, of since the Christ, birth of Christ and ask God to continue to bless us with, with his grace. So now with that in mind, let's stand together as we now look forward to just one more night until Christmas, one more day until we are going to have our Redeemer amongst us. We now turn to our, our uh, Father in heaven and a lot of anxiety, a lot of anticipation, and asking him to, to hear us as we call out to him. So, Heavenly Father, we ask you to pray for the leaders of our church. We pray for the successors of the apostles, uh, Bishop uh, Donald, uh, our apostle here in the Diocese of Sioux Falls, and remembering all the bishops, and especially uh, Pope Francis, who the head of all the bishops, all the apostles, that you will inspire them by the Holy Spirit to to guide us into the 21st, uh, 21st century, the year of 2021, according to your grace. We pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for those who have been, you have chosen to be the elected leaders of, our, of your people. Send your Holy Spirit upon them as well, that they will be inspired by you to protect the common good according to you, your will and serve it well. And that they, by the model of Jesus Christ, will know that they are to be servants of the servants, not lords or kings or masters, but rather servants, and being able to recognize the King of kings and the Lord of lords in Jesus Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, Heavenly Father, we also pray for those who will be traveling, especially uh, here in the Dakotas with all the, the weather that we are experiencing. Heavenly Father, send, send your Holy Spirit uh, and your angels to to guide those who will be traveling to keep them safe and that they will celebrate with great joy the mystery of Christ's birth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, Heavenly Father, we also pray for those who do not have adequate housing, clothing, or food as, 
as we see in today's uh, weather, especially the bitterness of, of, of difficulties with doing without. Heavenly Father, help us not only just in prayer, but also throughout the year of 2021 to, to share the blessings that you have freely given to us with those who are in true need, and to be able to see Christ in those who, who are hungry, who are uh, without clothes, who are without homes or adequate housing. Heavenly Father, we ask you to, to help them to also see it in us an opportunity to see Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, Heavenly Father, we turn to you and pray for all those individuals who have been affected by this coronavirus, especially anybody else who, who may be ill during this Christmas season, that, that you will build them up. And, and yes, send your Holy Spirit to be with them at this time to give them the strength to endure the, the cross they're carrying. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, Heavenly Father, we also on this day present to you those who are lonely, those who are alone and feeling a, a despair because of, of lack of companionship. Heavenly Father, may we extend ourselves with a telephone call or, or maybe just a, a quick visit to, to be able to re reassure them that they are not forgotten. Heavenly Father, help us to, to be able to see in others those who are alone and destitute, that they too will know that, that your, your care is in your midst with the, the flame that you have given to us in baptism. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now, Heavenly Father, we also pray for those individuals who have gone before us, marked with a sign of faith, that they may share the promise of eternal life with you in heaven. We pray to the Lord. And on this day, as Mary and Joseph are when we're, uh, inching their way to Jerusalem in our hearts, we, we do want to pray for all married couples as well, that by the inspiration of the life of Mary and Joseph, that they too will be know of, of the great graces that come from the sacrament of marriage. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Now we present you, Heavenly Father, those petitions that we hold dearest to our own hearts. Present them to you at this time. For all of these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, again, it is with great joy we are here at your altar of praise as we look with great ex excitement at the coming of your Son into our lives. Hear these petitions that we present to you, for they are indeed presented not to uh, through us, but rather through our mediator, our eldest brother, Jesus Christ, who we know lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit as one God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. 
for our good and the good of all his holy May this oblation by which divine worship is uh, in its of uh, in which divine worship in its fullness has been inaugurated for us be our perfect reconciliation with you O Lord that we may celebrate with minds made pure the nativity of our redeemer through Christ our Lord Amen. The Lord be with you Lift up your hearts. Lift up the Let Lord. us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right, right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, and the Virgin Mary longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in praise. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Donald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. With your spirit. 
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And again, if you told, pull out your uh, Living with Christ or Word Among Us, let us say together the communion antiphon for December 23rd. Behold, I am standing at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door to me, I will enter his house and dine with him and he with me. And again, in your charity today, do remember to pray for uh, all married couples, especially those that uh, um, uh, are going through some difficult times, and especially with this coronavirus, that they, they like Mary and Joseph, even the most difficult times, know that the graces of God are there uh, with, for the asking. They will receive those, these graces. Let us pray. Grant your peace, O Lord, to those you have nourished uh, with these heavenly gifts, that we may be ready with lighted lamps to meet uh, you, your dearly be uh, beloved Son at his coming, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Uh, obviously, uh, tomorrow being the 24th, we're not going to have a, a morning mass here. Uh, what I'll try to do is uh, find uh, a live streaming of uh, 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 another church you may be having a, a morning mass for anybody who would like to uh, watch the uh, mass on, on, on YouTube. Uh, also, uh, remember that uh, the mass schedule for tomorrow will have 4 o'clock mass at, uh, at Duncan. Uh, also, uh, 7 o'clock Mass in Wessington Springs, uh, 10 o'clock Mass with Caroline. Uh, uh, so Caroline starts at 9.30, and Mass will begin at uh, 10 o'clock. 
And then, of course, uh, we'll have Christmas Day Mass uh, at St. Charles. So uh, we won't be uh, broadcasting live stream on Christmas Day. Uh, so, again, I'll try to attach uh, maybe from the Vatican with the Holy Father celebrating the, the Mass there so people can uh, chime in on, on that one as well. It's amazing what uh, the, the World Wide Web does give us an opportunity to, to see us as a universal church, a Catholic church. So... Uh, with that, everybody, uh, I always love the one show uh, that uh, I think of all the, uh, 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 what is it, uh, uh, Dickens' uh, um, uh, Scrooge. Uh, the best one I really enjoy is uh, Jim Hansen's version with the Muppets. And, of course, today uh, Kermit uh, would be singing, uh, There Was One More Sleep Until Christmas. This will be one more sleep until Christmas and how true it is with great anticipation. Let us uh, have that sleep, uh, knowing that when we wake up uh, tomorrow morning, that the Lord is going to be with us very soon. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.